Hi guys and thanks for watching this video. This is my five minute review on the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. This has anti-aging, skin brightening and vitamin C properties within it. That is the main reason that I actually picked it up and wanted to give it a try. The vitamin C bit mainly because I enjoy a product that lightens and brightens my complexion. I think that helps with the anti-aging and the usefulness that you want from your products. Um, yeah, do I like it? Yeah, well, let me run through what it says it's going to do and then I'll let you know at the end actually how I'm getting on with it, alright? So, it's 8 99 here in the UK, there's six shades, you get a 30ml glass bottle, plastic lid, pump dispenser, perfect, packaging, really nice. I like the orange, the wake me up, the vitamin C, I think that works really well. It says it's going to instantly reawaken tired skin. It's going to 100% cover any pores. It's, what else is it going to do? It's got Radiance Pearls in it, apparently, that is going to illuminate your skin. Now, that's one thing that I actually saw on the website when I was reading some of the other people's reviews to find out what you lot thought about it. You said it was sort of shimmery and glittery and you didn't like the chunks of glitter on your face. And I was like, shimmery, glittery? I, have I missed something? I didn't really see that. When you look really, really closely in the bottle, there's tiny little bit of shimmer, which I first thought was just in the glass of the bottle, because when you pump it out onto your hand, there's no sh there's, there is no shimmer. Well, I couldn't see any shimmer. If there's shimmer in it, it's working for me, because it wasn't a bad thing. I couldn't see the shimmer, all right? Other than the brightening and illuminating effect. There was no chunks of glitter on my face that I could... See? Anyway, it's also got peptides in it, which is good to bring back a bit of bounce and help with the old elasticity of your face, which happens with aging, etc, etc. So I'm enjoying that. It's got SPF in it, which is okay. I tend to get my SPF from my moisturiser, so if there's some in a foundation, anything is an added bonus, so that's good. There's six shades. Um, this shade is 100 Ivory, and I use the Wake Me Up concealer version, and I use True Ivory for that. But there's a True Nude, there's an Ivory, there's a True Ivory, there's a Soft Beige, there's a Classic Beige, and there's a Natural Beige, okay? So it's not a bad range, but they don't go to the really dark skin tones, not that I could find here anyway in the Southwest. On the whole, it says it's gonna wake you up, give you a fantastic glow, it's gonna be a satin finish, not matte, not over dewy, so it's that sort of in the middle. It's not matte, it's not dewy. If you want that every day, make your skin look better kind of foundation, this is the one. I did enjoy it. I, I will say the first time I used it, I hated it. I thought, what the heck is going on? Why is this not, it's just sat on my face. It's not blending with my skin tone. I, I just really actually didn't enjoy it. The next time I used it, I thought, I've got to just persist with it because there's something I'm doing wrong here. It's just, there's no, and I mixed it up from using a brush to using a sponge to using one of those little fake versions of the artiste brush, you know, the really impacted little bristle brushes. The sponge actually worked better for me. Okay, the beauty, the beauty sponge. So anyway, the next day I thought, well, I'll change my primer. I'll use a different primer because I was using a silicone based from Benefit, the professional one, which I love. Fantastic primer, works fantastic with all my foundations, so I don't know what happened. But anyway, I mixed it up and used a sort of mattifying gel, <coughs> excuse me, mattifying gel primer, which was just a cheap one that I bought last summer, actually, from a collection, just to sort of, I wanted something to just tone down the sweaty glow of the summer. And I've been loving that primer, I've been using it all through the winter, so I thought I'll try it with this one. And they, they actually work really well together. So more of a mattifying gel primer with this foundation and they just it, they just blend together, they work together and makes the foundation last pretty much all day. I mean, that's all I want it to do is last my working day. I, you know, every foundation is going to look a bit tired in the afternoon because that's just your face more than <laughs> the foundation. Well, it is for me anyway. So yeah, as long as you get your primer right underneath I'm really enjoying this product. I don't think there's anything else I need to say about it, to be fair. I just, I do like it. Like I say, get your primer right, and I like it. Shade-wise, I'm going to show you because it's a little bit, I said I'm ivory, but when I swatch it out on the back of my hand, it 
it really doesn't look ivory really doesn't look like ivory you can probably just about see that it, but if you can it that means it's quite dark i think it comes out a real beigey beigey deep creamy shade which might be a bit scary and when you first put it on your skin it is quite a heavy creamy shade but you just just keep blending it in be persistent as long as you've got your correct color for your skin tone it is going to blend it out really well so on the whole yeah i do really like this product i'm going to give it a two thumbs up it's not a three thumbs up it's a two thumbs up it's a good everyday foundation so the okay. product that i'm not actually enjoying i'm going to mention a product at the end of every one of my reviews are these mascaras from rimmel this is the cucumber scented one and this is just a waterproof one i have used up a the brown there's a brown version of these mascaras as well and that's the one with the argon oil in it and i did actually enjoy that one i didn't really purchase it because i don't know i always try another mascara um but i didn't enjoy these just didn't give the lift and the volume and the definition that I want from a mascara. So didn't like the cucumber one, didn't like the waterproof one. I struggle with waterproof mascaras anyway. If you like waterproof mascaras, you may get on with it, but they just don't give that lift that I want from a mascara. So I'm sorry, wonderful Rimmel London, you didn't do it for me. So there, that's my little review today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see, if you do, give me a thumbs up. Anything you wanna know, I will list everything about the product, um, the, the foundation down below, you know, prices, shades, all of that. And if you did wanna go and check it out, at least you know you're gonna pick up the correct product, okay? So thanks a lot for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe, there's a button down below. If you just open up the description box, you'll see a subscribe and that'll be really good to see you next week for my next video. Thanks a lot, guys, bye.